Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. In today's video, I thought it would be nice to share with you guys two ways that you can use this DIY in your home. This DIY is a candle holder tray as well as a beautiful wall art piece. Give this video a thumbs up if you love glam decor and let me know what you want to see next. Everything you see here is from the Dollar Tree. You will need two foam boards, four glass candle holders, three frame mirrors, bling wrap, three square mirror coasters, a hot glue gun, and E6000 glue. I have six mirror coasters here because I'm making two sets of these, but for the candle holder tray, you just need three. Starting off, I'm taking the frames apart and grabbing some scissors to take these little pieces off around the frame instead of using my finger. This way is definitely faster, just be careful. Then I'm grabbing my E6000 glue and putting it all over the foam board. This glue is very strong and will hold for a long time. I lost footage of how I cut the foam board to the size of the mirrors, but all I did was lay the three mirrors without the frame on the foam board. Then used my pen to mark where I needed to cut the excess foam board. Now I'm going to hot glue the foam board together so it connects while the other glue dries overnight. Adding more hot glue to the top of the foam board, I'm going to place the first mirror down and follow with a piece of bling wrap that I already pre-cut to size. Repeat this step until you reach the third mirror. Now that we have the top glued down, we are going to add hot glue to the sides of the foam board and apply the bling wrap all around. I pre-cut this as well because it saves time and it gets it done faster. For the last part of the tray, I wanted to add the square coasters because I really like this look and I'm going to add more hot glue. This DIY is super easy and that's what I like even more because it's beautiful, budget friendly and can be done in less than 10 minutes. You can spray paint these candle holders to whatever color you like, but I really like the crystal look, so I'm leaving them like they are and gluing one set together so they can stand out. Then I'm adding a mirror on top of each one for the glam look. Make sure before you glue the mirrors on the glass candle holders that you remove the sticker on the back. It will show if you don't because there's a mirror right under it. I forgot to remove two of them because I got caught up in something else when I was scrubbing the first sticker off. I used sponge and soap water to remove it, but I hear using a blow dryer helps, so I'm going to use that method next.
I've had these candles for a couple of years and I had some leftover rhinestone wrap that I got from Hobby Lobby. I put some hot glue on the candle and wrapped it around and it looks amazing you guys. You can use the bling wrap from Dollar Tree but I just love this rhinestone because of the way it sparkles. This is only for decorative purpose. I would never light them up with a rhinestone wrap because it is very dangerous. This is how everything came together. I had a lot of fun making it and seeing how something could be so pretty when you make it with love. If you're into home decor and glam, I highly suggest making this. It's super affordable and can be placed just about anywhere. This can be placed on your entryway table like I have it here, in your dining room, living room, kitchen island. I prefer LED candles because they're obviously safer. They give the ambiance of a real candle, so they're my favorite. I wanted to share how you can also glam up some old candles and make them look new again. I haven't seen any candles like this at the store or anywhere, so I hope this inspired you to recreate your very own set. I would love to hear your thoughts on this DIY and if you decide to recreate it, please tag me on Instagram. It's LG Queen Home Decor. I would love to see it. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make this into a wall art piece. It's basically the same steps, but I wanted to show you that I used E6000 to glue every piece down for a more secure hold. I only used E6000 to glue the boards together for the candle holder set, so if you want to make the wall decor pieces, definitely make sure to use E6000 glue. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed here. We've reached past 200,000 subscribers. I'm just blown away, you guys. I'm so grateful you all are here and you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. Even if it was just one person here, that truly fills my heart. I really appreciate you guys, so I want to do a giveaway soon. Make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notification turned on so you're notified when that video goes up. I'm using a generous amount of E6000 glue followed by hot glue in the empty spaces to give it a stronger and faster hold. Wait 24 hours before you hang it up on the wall, that way the glue is completely dried. I get a lot of questions on what I use to keep my mirror so clean and streak free. I use this Hope's Perfect Glass Cleaner. You can find it just about anywhere. I buy mines from Home Goods. The last step is adding the command strips. This one has two sizes and I'm going to be using the large pairs. They hold 16 pounds, but of course this wall piece isn't even four pounds. I just wanna make sure that it's very secure and it won't fall. In the directions, it says to connect both pieces together until you hear it snap. I'm going to put a set on the top left and right side, remove the strips and now it's ready to be placed on the wall. Here's how the two wall pieces I made came together. Another option is you can make multiple of these and have them go across the wall. These are perfect to cover those little walls that you don't know how to decorate. This is a beautiful statement piece and you can make them right from home. These would look really pretty in a bathroom, closet, or any small space that you want to add a little something to. This concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for all your continued love and support. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Take care.